I'm here in Windsor, Ontario at Chrysler's Automotive Research and Development Center and behind me is what they like to call Nine Degrees of Freedom. So named because it is a nine axis driving simulator. Now you may have seen some similar rigs. Those are actually six axis. What makes this one special is those three gigantic rams that surround the base which allow it to move laterally on that base floating on a cushion of three microns of air. That means that you can feel G-forces sustained through a corner. It can feel brake dive more accurately. It's the most realistic simulator in the world. First of all, it's the only machine of its kind in North America. It's made by a company called VI Grade, and if you want one, it's gonna cost you above $10 million. And they use it to drive prototypes before there are prototypes. Basically, it allows them to test and refine prototype pieces like steering columns, braking systems, drivetrains, wheelbases, anything, you name it, in the digital world before they take that to the real world, meaning that they can cut development time shorter, but more importantly, they can refine the product even better before it hits the streets. As you see it, it's configured to be a Ram 1500 quad cab. They have a cab up there, but with the touch of a button, that cab can make you feel like you're driving a Fiat 500 a Dodge Challenger, a Dodge Dually, it can be anything. So they can change the cab as well. You could drop a Fiat body on here, you could drop a Challenger body on here, but they could also do it digitally, meaning you could sit in the Ram cab and everything you touch and feel and drive and experience would be Fiat 500. It's very unique. I actually had a chance to drive this simulator and I gotta say, it's one of the weirdest things I've ever driven. It feels like you're, well, driving a car. Uh, they did tell me it's early stages, they've only had this machine about two to three weeks and the brake pedal feel is a little off. But the steering feel and the throttle travel and all that is exactly as you'd experience in the real thing. And that is very valuable to test drivers because it means that they can take an experienced driver into the machine and he can tell them that this understeers too much, it oversteers too much, the brakes are too touchy and whatever and make it into the perfect vehicle by the time it hits production. Where do you drive in the simulator? Well, they've laser scanned Chrysler's Chelsea Proving Grounds. They have all that and they've also laser scanned nearby racetrack Calabogie near Ottawa, Ontario. It's a very valuable tool to have and it's one way that FCA makes sure that their vehicles are as good as they can be by the time they enter the real world. For Driving.ca, I'm Clayton Seams.